Mathor Smash, created by the author of Merge Plugins and ModPicker.com, is a single program designed to replace the Bashed Patch and XEdit Merged Patch while adding some extra functionality. Used for the Elder Scrolls and Fallout games, from Oblivion onward, Smash's main function is to help make the mods in your load order more compatible with each other, to consolidate level lists, and to provide an overall smoother gaming experience. This video will cover the Mator Smash full installation, as well as how to create a smashed patch for general use. An all-inclusive video covering additional usage, setting explanation, troubleshooting, and patch inspection will be provided as time allows. That video will be linked in the description and pinned comment as soon as it's available. A final caveat before we proceed. If your game is already a mess due to tossing random mods into it without reading and testing as you went, do not expect this to fix everything. It's a chisel with a trowel, not a jackhammer with a steamroller. You should not be at this point in modding until you have established a pretty solid and working load order. Navigate to github.com slash Mator the Eternal slash smash slash releases. Locate the most recent version, and beneath Downloads, select the Mator Smash.zip. For ease of instruction, place the download on your desktop. Smash can literally be installed anywhere. However, I prefer to install Smash and other applications directly to the game's folder that they are being used with. While not necessary, in my experience, this helps to prevent user error by keeping things organized to my preference. You can install multiple copies of Matt or Smash if you care to, but a single copy will handle all compatible games. To install Smash how I would, navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Open the folder of the game that you are installing Smash to be used with. Right-click, Create New Folder. Name the folder Mator Smash. Open the Smash archive that we downloaded from Nexus. Select and drag all of the contents from the archive into the new Smash folder. Various Mod Manager tutorials are provided for those who need additional help with installing and or managing third-party applications. Smash will auto-detect your load order just like XEdit, Loot, and other applications. I suggest sending a shortcut of the Mator Smash EXE to your desktop. This single executable will work for all of the games being smashed. To launch Smash so that it detects your load order, you simply have to install it via the Modify Executables window. Title it, add the binary, select Add. Do this for each game that you are smashing. Launch Smash via the Run button. Launch Mator Smash. Single click to highlight the auto detected profile for the game that you are smashing. If your game isn't detected, select Create New Profile. Give the profile a title. Select one of the compatible games from the game drop down menu. Select the folder to the right of the path field. Navigate to and highlight the game folder in question. Select OK. Single click to highlight the game profile. Select OK. For now, we can ignore the plugins, as we are just setting Smash up. We will return here shortly. Select OK. At the main Smash interface, select the gear icon to open the options window. Open the patching tab. The patch destination directory should automatically point to the game in question's data folder. If it doesn't, select the folder icon to the right. Navigate to and highlight the data folder of the game being smashed. Activating the Merge Redundant Plugins checkbox will allow Smash to merge purely override record plugins to the patch. Similar to Rybash, this will cut down on your load order plugin count. I personally recommend that you activate it. Unlike Rybash, this feature is optional instead of forced on. Smash will most likely merge more plugins than Ry will, allowing you even more plugin space, but it will also require some extra work later on. After you have set up the patching tab, non-Mod Organizer users can select OK. Mod Organizer users open the Integrations tab. Activate the I'm using Mod Organizer checkbox. Select the folder icon to the right of the Mod Organizer path. Navigate to and highlight the Mod Organizer folder. If you have installed multiple copies of MO, be sure to select the one for the game at hand. If following Gamer Poets tutorials, the folder is located in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, the game folder, Mod Organizer. Still in the Integrations tab, you should notice that the Mod Organizer mods path was automatically detected. If it wasn't, select the folder icon to the right. Navigate to and highlight Mod Organizer's mods folder. 
If following Gamer Poets tutorials, it will be located within the Model Organizer folder that you selected in the previous step. When finished, select OK. Matt or Smash is now ready for general use. At the plugin selection window, just after launching Smash, right click in the blank space. Select Check All. Deactivate any plugins that you don't want to include in the Smash patch. Select OK. In the left pane of the main interface, within the Plugins tab, select all of your plugins starting with Index 1. You want to skip the game's main ESM file, Skyrim ESM, Fallout 4 ESM, so on. This is because the main ESM doesn't override records, so nothing actually needs to be patched within them. Later versions of Smash may disallow you from being able to select these at all. So, select to highlight the plugin at index 1. Scroll to the bottom of your load order. Hold Shift, select the plugin at the very bottom. You do not want to use a smash patch with either a bashed patch or an xedit merged patch. As noted in the introduction, Mator Smash replaces these patches via a single plugin. It probably won't cause an issue, but Smash completely obviates the need for these patches, so there's no reason to use them together. You also don't want to include patches created by third-party patchers such as those via Skyproc. If you don't know what they are, then you haven't created them and you don't need to worry. Though, information on these patchers is provided. This is no different than what would be done if using a bashed patch. Now, right-click any of the highlighted items. Select Smash Settings. Select Smash. Select Smash All. With all of the plugins still highlighted, right-click one of them and select Add to Patch. Select New Patch. Enter whatever you like for a name. I personally use the same name for both fields to avoid later confusion. When finished naming, select OK. Back within the main Smash interface, select the Hammer Build Patches icon at the top. Matt or Smash will then generate the patch. When the patch has finished being created, before closing the Smashing Patches window, scroll to the bottom of the Details window. If you activated the Merge Redundant Plugins checkbox during setup, Smash will have merged some plugins within the patch. Scroll up slowly until you see the line, Plugins Merged into the patch that are now redundant. All of the plugins listed beneath this line can theoretically be disabled to save more plugin space as they are now a part of the Smash patch. Copy and paste the list of plugins to a text document. Go through your load order and deactivate them. I'd personally save the text document for reference. I place mine in the Matt or Smash folder. Even though Smash may be completely accurate in labeling plugins as redundant, I strongly suggest that only those familiar with Xedit actually disable any of them. To be safe, after you activate the Smash patch, you should verify that each redundant plugin is in fact redundant. To do this, you open both the Smash patch and a redundant plugin in Xedit. Verify that each override record has been properly carried over to the patch. I will show how to do this in consecutive Smash guides. Other users should ignore this note and not deactivate anything. To activate the patch, whether you are using Mod Organizer or a different Mod Manager, simply refresh your manager or close and reopen it. Activate the new plugin. MO users activate it first in the left pane and then in the right. Place the Smash patch just beneath the last plugin that you smashed. The process is now complete. You are ready to continue modding and or to start testing. Other patchers, such as Skyproc, can and should be used only after the Smash patch is installed unless a mod's author tells you otherwise. This is to assure that those patchers incorporate the Smash patch records within them to avoid errors. If you want to add other plugins to the Smashed patch in the future, due to adding new mods and or running new applications on your load order, such as merge plugins, you will have to rebuild the patch. The rebuilding process is quite simple. Take a look at your load order. Just like when rebuilding a bashed patch, if you have used other patchers on your load order, since first using Smash, you will need to deactivate their plugins prior to re-smashing. As mentioned earlier, you don't want Smash to touch those mods. When we finish rebuilding the Smash patch, you will then have to remake those other patches by first deleting them so that the new ones include the new Smashed records. Again, this is no different than what should be done when using a bashed patch and or an X-Edit merged patch. You've come this far, don't skip steps now. Feel free to ask questions. Also, if you deactivated any plugins after creating the previous Smashed patch due to them being made redundant, you will want to reactivate them prior to re-smashing. 
This will allow Smash to incorporate those mods into the new Smash build. Launch Math or Smash and select the appropriate profile. Be sure that all plugins that you want to Smash are activated. Select OK. Within Plugins, control click any new plugins that you want to add to the Smashed patch. Alternatively, you can select plugins you want to remove from the patch. Right click on any of the highlighted plugins. If removing a plugin, select Remove from Patch. If adding a plugin, select Smash Settings, Smash, Smash All. Right click the new and still highlighted plugins. If you accidentally deselected them, the easiest way to tell which ones are new is by looking in the patch column. New ones won't be assigned a patch name yet. Select Add to Patch. Select the Smash patch or whatever name you gave it when creating it. Open the Patches tab. Select the correct patch to rebuild. Select Rebuild Patch. The Smash patch will then be rebuilt. If you plan on removing redundant plugins, take note of the Smashing Patches detail information again and be sure to double check the newly redundant mods in XEdit for error. You shouldn't have to recheck the ones that worked the first time around, but that's up to you. Just deactivate them in your load order again. After checking the newly redundant patches, deactivate them as well. Also, double check to make sure that the patch is still activated in your mod manager. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Matt or Smash, installation and general use. If you have felt that this video was too fast, a text version will be available on nexusmods.com as time allows. As mentioned earlier, an advanced and completely in-depth additional guide will be created for Matt or Smash. It will cover everything from additional usage, setting explanations, troubleshooting, and patch inspection via XEdit. I will take a single plugin and show you how to look at every single override record within it. Yes it's going to be a bit lengthy, but I'll make sure it's organized properly so those of you who don't want to watch the entire thing can skip over some of the information. A huge thank you to Mator for allowing us to smash things, and a huge thank you to all of you for spending some time with me. As always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.